All right, it's April 29th. It's a Thursday, beautiful Thursday at that. Just left Catawba, North Carolina. Saw the sign for Bunker Hill Covered Bridge. The bridge that crosses this little creek we're looking at. I believe it's called Lyle Creek. We're going to try to dodge the wind so that the sound's not too bad today. But we're going to walk down here and check out this covered bridge and see what it looks like and learn a little bit about the history of it. So let's get started. You have kids here, they got this literacy trail that they can follow as they go along. There's a look back up the creek as it winds on down. I just come over here to take a look again because they have this big metal piece right in the middle of the river. So I imagine when that river floods, that water hits that. I'm not really sure what the purpose of it is though. Anybody knows who lives around here? Yeah, comment below let me know looks like they used to have a road you, I get well there's still a road you can drive down to but it's blocked off and they put this little trail off to the side here I'm not exactly sure how far it is we just have to keep walking until we find out yeah here's another one of those signs this is number seven it tells a little story. Kids can read that as they go along. It's interesting. When you come back, you can follow this path back in that direction. And actually, the storyboards turn, so you have to actually go back around. Oh, and this this is going to be part of the Carolina Thread Trail. Talked about that in numerous other videos. They have sections like this built. And then eventually they're all going to connect. I think that'll be a great thing. I'm glad we're on this side. The wind's not too bad over here. You can see, you can see them limbs just blowing off in the distance. So I can see the bridge up ahead. Not too much further. Just want to turn the camera back on and see what the power of water can do water's been coming down here and eroding this bank out here where this road is and I have a feeling that little metal piece that was hanging in the river was probably put there to slow the water down so it didn't come and hit this curve so hard yeah this is all gonna have to be rebuilt at some point but you know, that takes money looks like they got the stone and stuff over here piling up ready for it maybe yeah the wind is definitely blowing and the pollen is in the air Got a birdhouse up there and it looks like it's in use. Got some seats here. Gonna have some tall legs to sit in it though. Everybody putting their name on it. This trail is overgrown. Overgrown indeed. Need to come down here with a lawnmower at least, do some maintenance. But the times are what they are, I guess. Did put a fire hydrant out here. I guess in case the bridge catches on fire, I'm gonna be able to put it out right. It's a historic bridge. It's been here a long time from what I read. So, for some reason, their trail dead ends into a fence. <laughs> so we got to go back out on the road over here. That comes that wind. At least it's not cold. Alright, I'll get up with you when I get up there. So here's another sign for the Carolina Thread Trail, and that's their blaze. Anytime you see that blaze, it's the same no matter where it's at. And it goes up through there, around this bridge, uh, on the other side there. That it does not cross the bridge. Yeah, but we're coming up on the bridge here. Let's go up here and read some history on it. So they have some plaques here for the bridge, telling about it. And Bunker Hill Covered Bridge across Lyles Creek on Old Island Ford Road and is erected in 1894 and covered in 1900. So it's been here quite a while. And that's the bridge over there. I'm going to go over here and look what they got over here. Got some information about how it was built. The 
name Bunker Hill comes from a local Bunker, Bunker Hill farm. And it was put on their land, I imagine. That's what it would have looked like back in the day. You see a lot of trees around it now, but it was a farm at that time, and there's Lyles Creek. And before the bridge, people had to go down through that creek and then go over to the Catawba and ford the river there. Yeah, it says it was part of the Island Ford Road, a former Indian trail, which remained important throughout the state's western development. And during the colonial period, the road served as a route to transport British prisoners of war, of war after 1871 in the Battle of Cowpens. The Morgan Army, with hundreds of prisoners and captured horses and wagons, stretched more than two miles as it approached the Island Ford. That's something else. So history happening right here. And they would ford the creeks and, of course, the Catawba River. They would have to ford that. Yeah. There's another picture that somebody drew, a little drawing. Yes, at least 10 covered bridges existed in, in Catawba County during the 19th century. Many got destroyed by floods. Check that one out. That was a long bridge. Yeah, covered North Carolina, Catawba, and North Counties. I was trying to see where that one was, but I'm not sure. They got a map. A little bit more history there. Herman, I don't even know how you say his last name, so I'm not going to try. He's the he's the fellow they hired to build the thing, and he must have done a good job because it's still standing here today. I love these beautiful bridges. Yeah, but this would have been a formidable crossing. You got wagons and horses and no bridge here. You know, you'd had to. Make your way down somewhere, maybe over there and forward across. I don't know exactly where they would have done it. I'm sure it wasn't right at this spot, but it went down where it's a little flatter. Yeah, all those prisoners from cow pens would have been marching down through here. This would have been an Indian trading route, covered wagons, all kinds of people going back and forth. We think of our interstate roads today, this would have been a similar pathway, I imagine, at one time with a lot of people crossing. They had to they had to follow these roads to these forges. You know, it was the only way of get, getting across the river. There wasn't any bridges like that until they started building them. And they built this one right here over Lyles Creek. This is a great example of history right here. But then you got these jackasses that want to come in here and paint on them. You know, that, that wood is old. Yeah, I guess they feel like they want to be remembered. And they will be, in my opinion, remembered for being dumbasses. Why? There's no use into this. No use at all. You can find another place to put something. You don't have to put it on a historic landmark. And it's all the way down through here. Yep. They have painted it from one end to another. We'll ignore that today. It's a shame, though. Only way to get rid of it is come in here and sand it down or paint it up, paint over it. You can see where they crossed it, it was thicker right here in the middle where they put these three planks. You know, I guess your wheels would be up on here. Horses plopping along through here. Crossing to the other side. If it was raining, I imagine they probably took shelter in the bridge for a little while. Sit up in here. I would have. And off the bridge they would have come, of course, it would have been built up then. You wouldn't have to step down. They would have headed on off on the road there. I think, what, what did we say it was? Long Island Trading Route Road. We'll look when we go back. Got pathways up and down here in the fence. I guess they're trying to keep people from going down below. And they had to concrete that side over there. All right, I see some people coming, so I'm going to shoot back through. We'll pick it up on the other side. There's a look back at the bridge. I decided not to go to the other side yet. I saw this little gate. So it is open and you can walk in the gate and go down to the river. I don't know why the fence is here. I'm sure it's not all the way down too far because animals need to get down in here and get through the water. Yeah, you can come on down. Maybe we can get a view from the bottom. Ooh, that is steep. 
<laughs> I don't know if I, ooh, a big snake. Did y'all see him? Big black snake. Yeah, I wish I'd have got that sooner. He went under the side there. Man. You know how I am about trash. Now somebody came down here with two big slurpy or fast food drinks. Sat there and just left them with their napkins. Come on people. Why? Why would you do that? If everybody did that, this would be a big trash dump. <clears throat> and believe me, I've seen places like that in the past. When I was younger, I went to a Whitewater Falls or something. I believe me and a buddy, we were in a camp. We got there, nothing but trash and beer cans. and It was like camping out in the dump. And it was a beautiful waterfall. Now, they cleaned that up later on and as the years went by. But I swear, I think people are starting to get back in that mindset again and i have to keep talking about it on every video and i'm kind of getting sick of it i know you probably are too but you know i just want to drill that point home anyway i wish i could have got that snake he was big i don't think i'm i don't know let me see if i can go down there and we'll take a look at the bridge so here's a look at the bridge from the bottom that entire bridge if i'm not mistaken is held together with wooden pins Yeah, a beautiful bridge. Creek's running good today. Let's go over here and find that snake. There's those Dunkin' Donut cups that some body could not find the strength to haul out along with their napkins. The snake was over here. Let's see if we can find him. He was a big one. He's up in there somewhere. I imagine. Oh well. Leave the old boy alone. This is rock right here, it feels like. You can see how it flattens out. They probably forward, went across the ford down there somewhere. Kind of would have come down through there and crossed. Yeah, that's the way you did it back in the day. You had to find a shallow place to cross, get your wagons across. And, uh, Sometimes you had to gun and go out of your way to get there and then get across and cut back to where you were going. Anyway, I think I'm going to end it down here. I'm going to pick up those cups and take them back with me so I'm not going to be able to hold the camera going back. Yeah, Bunker Hill Covered Bridge. Not far from Catawba, North Carolina. Glad, glad to come down here today. It's a nice day. Hope you enjoyed this little tour, walking tour of the bridge. If you did, like, subscribe, and share. Y'all take care.